I'm just making a happy little tree that lives <laughs> just about here in the forest. No, I'm not Bob Ross. But anyway, welcome to my tour of my little studio. So uh, this is my area of creation. So in this video, I'm going to talk a bit about uh, the tools I use, the uh, types of brushes, the uh, types of paints, uh, what I work on, and uh, I'll give you a little view of the whole thing. So if you want to come over by here uh, to get a better view of the creation area. So first things first, we'll be talking a bit about media and uh, the paints I use. So um, I use exclusively acrylics paints. I was uh, an oil painter for many years, but I finally went a bit crazy with drying time, so I needed something that would dry a lot quicker. So basically I use um, Liquitex paints, uh, good, not too expensive, and golden paints, a little more costly, but really, really good. They have a nice finish, they have a satin finish, they're not completely flat and really smooth, so you're not usually thinking you're painting with toothpaste when you use them. So uh, these are kind of fun, so that's a nice plug for those two companies, and there you go. Okay, uh, brushes. This is my little water pail for my brushes. So you, there's a lot of stuff in there at present because I'm working on a few paintings. Um, uh, I don't use very good brushes. I buy really cheap brushes. Now, why I buy, do I buy cheap brushes? Um, my technique requires a lot of digging into the canvas. So naturally, the more you dig in with these brushes, the more you want to use up. So. I'm not going to start wasting money on like $35, $40 brushes, so I'm going to ruin them after one or two paintings. So I buy the cheapest things, and it gets the job done. So um, this is usually what my little brush area looks like. Uh, I'm notorious with uh, my not taking care of my brushes. I don't wash them at every sitting. They usually sit here in water for months, seriously. And uh, to the point where some of them actually will break out and you know start making weird things, but I'll use them on the canvas anyway and it could give an interesting effect. Uh, I don't recommend you don't take care of your brushes. A good person would wash them every day and take care of them, but I'm kind of lazy, so I don't. <laughs> Next step would be the, um, the supports I use. So I work on with two things. I work with canvas, um, the good old stretch canvas with the little drum head effect. I really like the, te the texture of, uh, of canvases, that little green, and it's perfect to dig in and play with paint with it and all that. Um, a new media I've been using a little bit in the last few months is, uh, is wood birch wood panels. This might be a bit shiny. So it's a standard, you know, birch panel just mounted, and um, they can give pretty interesting effects with texture and a different way of applying paint. They're a lot less forgiving than canvas, so it's a different, uh, it's a whole different animal, but I'm getting used to it and discovering interesting things to do with it. So that's pretty much it, uh, as far as the studio going, standard easel, a light, and uh, light from outside as much as I need it. So there you go.